Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health and for those of you who don't know what this is, it is a, a series that premieres every Saturday 3pm UK time. It has the live chat, there's always wonderful people in there so if you're feeling lonely, feeling low or you just want to chat makeup then Karma Chameleon is the place to be. So before we go on into the makeup, as you will have seen in the title, I am holding a giveaway. It's to celebrate not your basic Steph's first birthday. So I have this big box here full of stuff. So the giveaway is going to be split between four, four winners. Um, I just have all of the items here in front of me. I will split them into four um, at some point, but I'll go through everything now. So the first palette is the Made by Mitchell Head in the Clouds palette. It comes with the case. Then we have the Juvia's Place, the Bronzed Rustic and Colourpop Make It Black. Those two were very kindly donated by Nina. Thank you so much, lovely. And the next one is the Sample Beauty Plush. And then I have a few bits here that were very kindly donated by Rux of Artitude Cosmetics. So there is the VIP exclusive palette. Four K-Kit liners. And a Catitude 2-in-1 liner and lash adhesive. This is a clear one. Then we have Eloise and the Queen palette. And the Warrior 2 by Juvia's. There are two Makeup by Lisa palettes. There is the Cookies and Cream. Is it good? Yep, Cookies and Cream eyeshadow palette and the I Love the 90s palette. And the last of the palettes is the SP Cosmetics and it is the purple one. And then moving on to the other items, there is the Juvia's Place, the Nubian Loose Highlighter in the shade Nefertiti. And the MUA eyeshadow primer and MUA satin lipstick in the shade Deja Vu. There's the Tropic Fruit Aquiliner from Island Play Cosmetics and this is in the shade Sorrel. Then there's the MUA Blushed Liquid Cream Blush in the shade Peach Puff. A MUA Translucent Pressed Powder. Juno & Co Microfiber Velvet Sponge and the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer and then last but not least there is the Island Play Cosmetics Makeup Bag so all of that is going to be split into four groups of items so there will be four winners so the giveaway rules you must be publicly subscribed so that i can see that you're subscribed like this video and answer three questions that i'm going to ask throughout this video i will state that they are giveaway questions there will be four winners and if you are not in the uk and um, there may be customs charges. If they are, I wouldn't be responsible for that. So if you are concerned about that, maybe don't enter. Um, the giveaway closes on Thursday, the 15th of July, 11.59 p.m. That's UK time. And the winners will be announced during Karma Chameleon next Saturday, the 17th of July. So giveaway talked about, let's get on with the makeup. So I finally remembered I'm doing my eyes first. I did put my brows on. Pretty much all of the hairs of my brows have fallen out and honestly I'm feeling a bit self-conscious about it. So for today the brows are on and the eyeshadow primer I'm going to use is the P. Louise Base Pro in the shade Rumour 02. So yeah they've been slowly falling out but then Today, I washed my face, looked in the mirror, and there was literally a handful of hairs. And that was it. So, yeah. <laughs> I need to make my peace with that. 
so I did my eyebrows first I'm sure I will brave it at some point but today was not that day no, I just get the uh, primer on so how have you guys been doing that is not the giveaway question this is just how are you doing have you been up to anything exciting this week I went round my best friends and um, my boyfriend drove me round there and I made it up the 35 steps I was so proud of myself it was so nice to actually get to go and visit her now that she lives nearer to me so yeah that really made my week because it's been such a long time since we've been able to to just hang out at all It is so hot here today. I am sweating buckets. I think I'm going to have to lose the cardigan. Right. Cardigan lost. That's a bit better. It's just, it doesn't look like it should be that warm. It's really heavy and warm, muggy. Not much fun. But hey ho. So the eyeshadow palette I'm going in with is the Revolution and Soph is the new Super Spice. I'm a little late to filming with it, but that's okay. So yeah, really love the colour story. I haven't tried the first two. Um, my daughter actually owns all of the ones um, that Soph did with, with Revolution, so... I may, depending on how this goes, I may have to uh, have to borrow them. I don't know. Let's just wait and see. So, what colour do I want to go in first? So first, I am going in with Papa, the deeper purple. I love that there is a black and a white in here, and. And I'm just going to place that where I want it. This is very pretty. I think I probably will end up deepening it up with the black. But for now, I was watching Missa recently, Make Me Up Missa. And I saw her do this look and it was just the what like the style I really wanted to give it a try so that's what I am doing so I have actually managed um just through um watching what I'm eating a bit more I have managed to lose a bit of the weight that I've put on it's not a great amount, but it's something. And um, yeah, something I'm currently feeling quite proud of. <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with Night Owl. I thought I was going to want to. So guys, question one. What is your favourite product from 2021 so far? It could be any makeup product. Just what's your favourite? Okay, so it's not too pigmented, the black which is pretty good um, if you're using it for just blending purposes. I will go back in with the purple in a minute. I should really have just gone in with the black first, but 
Hey ho, I didn't and here we are. Yeah, it's not an overpowering black, it's just black enough. But yeah, if you're looking for a really black black, this is not going to be your black. Wow, I'm doing great here, aren't I? <laughs> oh, dear me. So I'm so excited that it's the first birthday of my channel. It's actually on Friday the 16th, but I just wanted to announce the the winners during Karma Chameleon. Because it's just such a chilled, get ready with me style video that yeah, I thought it would just be the perfect kind of place, perfect video to announce the winner in. Right, and I'm just going to take a smaller brush and go back in with Papa the purple just to blend the edges a bit more, blend the black into the purple a bit more. I know what I'm talking about, really. <laughs> I probably don't. Okay, so it's not blending badly, but it is taking more effort than I'm used to with a lot of the indie palettes. But I think it's looking nice. It's definitely a formula that you need to build up, but that's not a bad thing. It makes it more beginner friendly. The purple I'm bringing all the way in. Not like thick and heavy, just dragging it in gently so it's not... I don't want like a solid... I don't know how to describe it. I, I wanted it like that. <laughs> Jeez. I am having issues with my words today. If you're not new around here, you will know that I, I pretty much have issues with my words every day. <laughs> it doesn't help um, that since I kind of got ill, that... I don't really go out at all. So I'm not very not very good at talking with other people anymore, I don't think. Well okay, so whew, what are we gonna go in with next? Alright, so next up Next up, I'm going in with Lover, the bright pink. And I'm just going to take that over the edge of the purple there. Okay, that's, this is more pigmented. Right, I'm going to go back in with some of Papa the purple because I feel like we've kind of lost that to the pink. And then back in with the brush with the pink on. Bring that all the way in and around. Okay. The pink is definitely more pigmented than the purple. Now 
those pinks definitely got some good pigment there. And then back in with Papa, the purple. I can't believe I actually remembered to do my eyes first this time. I'm actually getting somewhere. I always choose Karma Chameleon Days to uh, to do these kind of looks. The days when I'm filming like the whole makeup steps. I'm just bringing that black back a bit because I felt that we lost it. I'm going to do some more blending on this side. And now I'm going in with Cocktail, which is the orange. I'm taking that on a fluffier brush because I'm using it to blend out. I don't want a solid line above that. Okay, this one seems to have pretty good pigment as well. Obviously, I'm not like packing it on like I did the others. But yeah, I, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. So, guys, I am up to date with SWAT. I've had some suggestions of things to watch from a few of my friends and family, but if you guys have any recommendations, so series-wise, I tend to like a lot of crime stuff. I've watched all of Criminal Minds. I'm up to date with SWAT. I like that kind of style. I used to watch all the CSIs. But I haven't watched those in years. But I may give them another go. Or I may not. I don't know. But yeah, let me know if you have any good suggestions for me to try out. Because obviously with the situation I'm in, I just can't do much at all so I do spend a lot of time just sat watching things because some days I just can't do anything at all I just have to kind of lay back and kind of chalk that day up to a loss kind of thing <laughs> Yep, this is definitely building up nicely. So I'm just going to go back through the other colours just to make sure it's thoroughly blended into one another and we don't lose them. I do like this pink a lot. I do have to say, this pink is literally just going on beautifully. And then just taking the brush with the orange on over top again. It's not that kick uppy, which is nice. I 
there's no way on earth my look is going to look anything like make me up missus it's just inspired by that girl has serious serious talent So before I go into shimmers, I'm going to go back into Papa and I'm going to kind of pack this on the outer edge here. Just to make it easier to kind of blend the shimmer into. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised so far. It has taken a bit more effort blending, but that is not the end of the world. I think if you're wanting to do a softer look, it would be just really quick and easy. But I really wanted to kind of test these. I kind of wanted to test them to kind of the max of their abilities or like to work out just what what they could do. So yeah, so I am going to pop on some NYX Glitter Primer just to give the shimmers that something to stick to. go so guys question two what is your favorite palette that you own like one that's already in your collection So I'm just going to swatch a couple of these um, just to decide what it is I want. So I'm going to swatch out both Dreamy and Frere uh, just to see what they look like because this Dreamy looks amazing. Okay, so this is Dreamy. It looks to be a bit of a duochrome. And then... So Frere's a bit of a more transparent formula. So I think I am going to go straight in with Dreamy and see what happens. Ooh. That is super shiny. Oh, I like this. Oh, wow. I'm just going to quickly go in with a bit of purple just to see so if I can mesh that a bit. Maybe the black and the purple. doesn't have such a harsh line there or so yeah that's just a mixture of the black and the purple yeah that is super nice
So have any of you guys got this palette? And if you have, what do you think of it? I do have to admit, I'm pretty... I'm pretty impressed. You know, I would definitely say this is a different formula to the other to the other makeup revolution palettes I've tried. And I think for the inner part of my eye, I'm going to go with Fra. Let's have a see, because this looks to be does it look to be a different formula? I'm not sure. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend swatching them. Because it looks like I've already started to get a bit of hard pan. And let's see how. Now this isn't picking up anywhere near as well. Hmm. Right, so I had to really dig my brush in for this, but I think it's more like a putty kind of feeling. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend swatching them because it's definitely made it more difficult. So I'm just, I'm having to kind of really dig my brush in. Do hmm. once you've got it on your brush, it it's really nice, and I like the kind of putty-ish kind of texture because it goes on really smoothly. Okay. Go back in with that pink brush, pink brush, the brush with the pink on. I'm just taking a little bit of pink. Uh, I'm just taking a bit of Lover, the pink, and just going around the edges there, just to make, make sure it's not quite as harsh a line as it originally was. So I'm just going to use one of these little cotton squares. They're the washable ones. And I'm just going to put a couple of drops of hyaluronic acid serum and kind of clean up anything under the eyes. So the primer I'm going to go in with is from V Cosmetics. It is the Witchcraft Beyond the Veil Primer. I really enjoy this primer. It's really good. And pop some on it's really kind of hydrating but then leaves a bit of a tack it doesn't kind of it doesn't sit on the skin it kind of soaks in and leaves a really nice base for foundation and apparently it goes in the hair too <laughs> oh well priming the hair whatever next this feels really nice and it's just got that slight tack that really 
it does really grip the foundation which I appreciate and then for foundation I'm going in with the Urban Decay Stay Naked in the shade 40 NN this is another product I love so pop some of that on the back of my hat so there you guys got anything nice planned for the week ahead what's the weather like where you are here it's just come out with the sun now which is nice I do like to see the sun I don't like it too hot though because I sweat like a pig when I'm too hot and also like when I'm in pain I sweat more which is a lot of the time at the moment so <laughs> I will do anything to avoid being more sweaty <laughs> wow yeah this has got just enough coverage so it's more of a medium buildable coverage you can get it to go fuller fuller you can get it more coverage get it more co i can't speak if you build it up you can add more coverage there we go that works but yeah i don't like to i like to just use the concealer to hide anything extra Alrighty, and then for spot concealing I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. I did use this to carve out my brows also. So just cross my scars. Now there's not much to conceal. My skin has broken out a little bit but that's I've been a bit stressed just just trying to get used to uh, you know life in pain I guess and also like my eyebrows falling out wow there has been clumps of my hair come out too but luckily obviously there's a lot more hair on my head than there was initially my eyebrows I could probably count the hairs now, there's that few. At some point I will brave it and start from scratch, but yeah, I'm not ready. <laughs> so under my eyes I'm going to use the She Glam Versatile Flawless Concealer in the shade Tahiti. Um, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have to get my brows either tattooed on or microbladed because I I can't stand this. It's horrible having no eyebrows. So just under the eye. Just obviously use that just to clean up over there. This concealer is really nice. So I have this one and the Madage Beauty concealers that I love for under the eyes. So for cream contour, I'm going to use the She Glam, it's the Glow Sticks, I think it's called, in the shade Cinnamon. And I've got this new Luxie brush. It's a flat contour brush. So I want to give that a go and see if it makes a difference at all. Because obviously it's very precise. Hmm. Yeah, 
I would say that this this is definitely keeping it more more accurate accurate I'm guessing that's what I mean <laughs> it's, it looks it's doing the job well I have no idea why my words are this bad my words I have no idea why I can't speak And then just taking it around the very edges. Now I do really like this cream contour stick. I quite like pretty much everything I tried from She Glam actually. Um, I did um, post up a video, it was a full face of She Glam. And um, yeah, if you want to see how all their other stuff that I tried performed then I will pop the I'll link it in the description box below for you to check out right I give up talking for a minute <laughs> the cream blush I'm going in with is from metamorphosis it is the blushing bubbles liquid blush in the shade emotion I love this so much I'm just going to pop some on the back of my hand there and then from the back of my hand I just dip the brush in there so it looks very over pigmented when you first put it on but as you can see it really blends in beautifully this is definitely one of my favorite cream blushes the formula is just so beautiful but yeah if you uh, have been umming and ahhing about trying the cream blushes from metamorphosis I can highly recommend this one it's just just such a beautiful formula try not to get glitter over For some reason I seem to have a lot of glitter on my hand well so the powder I'm going to be using is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in the shade Butter I love this powder if you are not new here you will already know this but this powder is just amazing it's definitely more on the expensive side but you don't need much a little goes a long way make sure my eyes aren't creased So yeah, look, literally that is all I will take for like quite a a larger area, a larger area. But even taking a little bit, you can see how much comes off the brush when you swirl. It's just beautiful, and it smells amazing. So yeah, if you don't like scented products, you're not going to like it because it's not. I mean, it's not really overpowering you can definitely really smell it but I love the smell I don't love the taste why did I do that don't don't talk whilst you're <laughs> doing powder unless you fancy trying it but I can assure you this doesn't taste nice so don't try this at home So for the wing, I'm using the Lethal Cosmetics Side Effects Gel Liner in the shade BPM. And just using a liner brush, I'm just going to dip into that. These are amazing. I have now tried them like in my waterline and as a wing. If you can hear meowing, it's Mr. Fluff. He just randomly meows sometimes. <laughs> mm. 
So now to curl my lashes, well what's left of them too, because they've been falling out also. Luckily, not too bad, I just got the odd little gap, but oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't like losing my hairs. If it was my legs, I'd be happy. More than happy. But why my face? Yeah, I don't know if you can see, I've lost quite a few in here. That's about it. <laughs> okay, so I thought I was filming. Apparently I was not, I was just talking to myself. So, the lashes I popped on are from Artitude Cosmetics. They're in the style Badie. And I tight lined using the Ciate London Chisel Eyeliner. And I believe that's all I've done, so. Let's go for the lower lash line. All right, so I'm first going to go into Papa. And, and I'm just going to take that along the lash line there. As you can see it kind of joins up just under that line of there. It's the same shade all the way up there now. I don't know what I'm saying. And then dipping into Night Owl the Black, just using the same brush and I'm keeping that literally just here at this outer area to deepen. Beautiful. And then using a fluffier brush, I am going to go into Lockdown, which is this lavender purple. Hmm, doesn't look like it's picking anything up. Let me see if I swatch that. Yeah, there's it's a very pale pastel shade. So I don't know how well this is going to work for what I want it for, but we shall see. No, 
it's not actually doing anything at all really right okay so scrap that so i am going in with i'm gonna go in with lover the pink and try that yeah I'm quite disappointed in that lavender color i was really hoping that was going to work out especially seeing as all these other shades have been so good yeah definitely not a fan of that shade as yet but i will try it in different ways maybe it would be better if used over a white base because i haven't primed under my eyes so i will try that again at some point and see if that is the issue oh and i think actually i'm going to dip into cocktail the orange and just just using the same brush just to add that in a bit as well hmm. nice yeah i like this a lot I'm just using the little brush that I had the black and purple on. I'm just defining that line underneath. So I'm just messing around with this until until I'm happy with how it's looking. So I'm taking it right up into my hairline. And then just getting a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to really soften the under eye there. That doesn't look quite so harsh. So I've decided to go with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade UNTZ. Oops. I have no idea, but it's UNTZ. And let's have a see if this is... So I've decided actually I want to make my lower lashes yellow so I'm going in with the Lethal Cosmetics Side Effects Gel Liner in the shade Treble. Right so I'm just going to just kind of paint it on the lashes. You see what I'm doing? Hopefully I'm not putting the mirror in the way so I did this in another look recently and it was with the, one of the other shades I have but I thought it was really effective I do like when you can use products for varying different things see these are great as winged liner they're great in the waterline okay so for contour powder contour i'm going in with the peaches and cream sculpting powder it's the shade light to medium i really love this I keep thinking that I've got all of the um, UK indie brands 
like ready for the video but then I find more UK indie brands so at some point I'm just going to need to say enough is enough I'll do another one like down the line because um yeah there's a lot of really amazing UK indie brands that I don't think get anywhere near as much love as they deserve And then just quickly go over that with the powder brush so we don't have just clumps. I'm not doing too great today at this whole having to think and speak thing. Okay, so the blush I'm going in with is from Pout and Shout. It is the shade Juicy Lucy, which looks like this. I'm going to pop some of that on. And the third and final question is, what would you, or what do you prefer? Neutral looks or colorful looks? There's no right or wrong answer. Um, to any of these it's just questions that I could think of <laughs> so for highlighter I picked up the revolution and soap cookies and cream highlighter palette and we don't need that anymore and this is what we have here see this one this side I think would be an amazing kind of bronzer topper for me but I am going in with this side and let's see Okay, not bad at all. Not quite as blinding as some of my others, but it's definitely not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Let me just swatch the other one. I'm just going to swatch them both. All right, so the one I just used feels drier than the other one. Oh, it's more creamy and holy cow, that is that is beautiful. Let me just with, I've got it on my fingers, so I'm just going to kind of dab a bit of this one on there. Ooh, okay. Now this is the blinding one then. So I also picked up the 
candy icing sets, the lip liner and lip balm. So I'm going to give that a go. Let's have a look. So it's a pencil one that you sharpen. I'm just using it to colour in pretty much because uh, it says it's a lip balm. So I'm not expecting it to be too pigmented. Okay, well, that is really nice. It's creamy without being too creamy. Okay, impressed with that so far. Now the lip balm, let's have a look. I love the packaging of this. It looks beautiful. So let's give this a go. It has a bit of pigment, not that much. Yeah, it's definitely enough though. I forgot something. One second. <laughs> Oh my word. Right, in a corner and brow bone highlight. I'm going back in here and I'm going to go in with this one this time. So let's have a see. Yeah, that is beautiful. And then taking a little bit under my brow there. Nice. Can't believe I nearly forgot. What's up, Poppy? Yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this look has turned out. Beautiful, I love it. And see, so looking at my cheeks now, that highlighter is actually a lot better than I originally gave it credit for. The eyeshadow palette is, I've loved everything except for this, but I'm going to, I'm going to give it another go see if I can work with it in a different way, say over a white base or a white tacky base, we'll see. But overall, I really like it. This I really, really love. And the lip liner and lip balm set, beautiful. So yeah, this is this week's Karma Chameleon look. The giveaway rules details will be in the description box below. I'm so excited to be giving back. So four of you will just have some new products to play with. So yeah, that is about it from me today. If you've been here in the live chat, thank you very much for coming. I'm sure we've had a great time chatting. And if you are watching at a later time or a later date, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you are new around here, if you love colourful makeup, if you love indie brands, and if you love cruelty-free makeup, then yeah, my channel is the place to be. So please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. Again, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.